Yeah, and here with some advice on ways to give is author and advisor Lisa Dietland. She's an expert on philanthropy and charitable giving and the founder of the Institute of Transformational Philanthropy. Thanks for being here, yeah. Lisa. Oh, happy to be here. Yeah. Happy New Year wishes happy early. Happy New Year early. <laughs> All right, speaking of New Year, let's just, can we get taxes out of the way? Yeah. Because this uh -huh. is complicated. And I've read a lot about charities freaking out about yes. next year and, have, and middle America having less incentive to give right. in next year. And there are a lot of people running around and they're scared because of what the tax bill is doing. And But what I try to remind people is that even when we were able to deduct and we had a lower uh, standardized deduction, 70% of Americans took the standard deduction and still we gave to charity. Last year, $393 billion was given away to charity. Think about that, that's a billion dollars a day. And 70% of Americans didn't even take the deduction so that they could have. So less people are going to be itemizing, is that the presumption the that's presumption being made? Is, right, that because less people will have the ability to meet or go above that standard deduction, that they won't be incentivized to give to charity. Yet, survey after survey shows that the reason people give is they care about a cause, or someone ask them. When you look at that tax deductibility, it's six to seven percent of people say that's the reason they're giving. Right. So and a lot of experts yeah. are saying it's too early to tell anyway. Right. That. And this is the time of year we're getting flooded, you know, with appeals <laughs> from charities. <laughs> oh I mean, my gosh, I get the, stuff you've never heard of. Right so, now, I'm like, I just brought Christmas right. presents. Like, <laughs> how you, so how can you be judicious? Oh, well, separate the good from the bad. Well, I mean. first of all, you know, there's 1.6 million registered nonprofits in this country, and all believe they have a really good mission, and they all feel like they're flooding our mailbox at this time. What I always say is make a plan. Um, don't let guilt drive your charitable decisions. Usually have a budget. Most of us give to three things automatically. We give to our house of worship, we give to our alma mater, and we probably give to something our children are involved in. It could be their school, it could be Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girls on the Run, it could be a program that they're involved with. We give to that, and then we might have room for one or two more. Maybe our aunt had breast cancer this year, and that's become really important to us. Or maybe we adopted a pet after the hurricanes that ravaged you know, the South, that we adopted a pet, and all of a sudden animals top our list. Most of us can't give beyond five. Okay, but beyond five charities, do most of us give a certain percentage of our income every year? Well, you know, what they say is in the last two months of the year, 80%, uh, 50% of the charities receive 80% of their funding, which is astronomical when you think about it. That people, it's the time of year when we think about giving mm -hmm. back, when we want to make sure everybody has food on the table and a present under the tree and that our charitable donations are taken care of at the end of the year. I do think that people make their own decisions. And whether it's $10 or $25 or $2,500 or $25,000, this is an amazing time of year to give. Mm -hmm. And every dollar counts. How do we be judicious, though, and, and know that we're not donating to to some charity that uh, where 95% of the donations go to administrative costs? <laughs> That's you a know? great question. I get asked that often. Just like we're smart shoppers, we have to be smart donors, and we have to do our homework, and we have to do our research. There's three organizations that I recommend that you look at when you're trying to vet organizations. You look at the Better Business Bureau has a Wise Giving Alliance, Charity Navigator is another rating service, and GuideStar. Also have recommendations. When things hit my inbox, say it's somebody I don't know and they send an email and say click on this and you can make a donation, I don't click on that. I actually, if I'm intrigued by it, I'll do my own research and call the number that I find on the website because, you know, hackers have taken over a little bit in the nonprofit field. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so much to think about and worry about. There this. is. There is a lot to think about and a lot to worry about. But if you're a smart shopper, you can also be a smart donor. And, and not much time for giving donations because uh, years uh, running out. It is. Lisa you have to make sure your donation's yeah. in Thank by you so much. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Thanks right. a lot for being with me. Thank Happy you New so Year. much.